Hey everybody, how are we doing today? So here in the U.S., it is 11-1, the first day of November, opening a portal of even more energy. Energy comes pouring in every day, just so you know, mixing with the old energy, cleaning things up, bringing things to the surface, allowing many of us to let go of what no longer serves. So don't get caught up in the November 1st to the 11th portal and oh, stuff is happening in this portal and I don't wanna miss anything. So you gear yourself up to almost um, what's coming, what's a coming, what's a coming on top of what others are saying on top of the elections coming up here in the States. And none of that happens unless you tune into the moment of now because everything is a futuristic timeline based upon energies and outputs of other people's information. Yeah. Swallow on that one. The only way to understand what information applies to you is listening to your inner ears, your inner eyes, your inner software system, your inner cellular system. Taking the information that comes in outside of that with really a grain of salt, so to speak. Letting it just filter through as information, but not swaying you from one side of the pendulum to the other, creating the polarization and polarity. Tap into the feelings that you know are right for you. And when you really tap into those and you get it and you feel it and you know it, you don't need collaboration with anyone or confirmation from anyone, but you're not swayed because you're like, I know this to be and I'm okay with that even if you're not. And it also goes into, I didn't come here to be a converter or a solicitor of my belief systems. I came here to see how much I can grow from within and blossom and expand and look at everything externally as information being filtered internally and then filtering internally back out. And not having to share a whole lot of that with others. Unless I'm directly asked, and even then I tap in and ask, is this something that is beneficial for me to answer? Or am I answering it in a way that puts it back on the other person so they keep tapping in to their own power? And usually the latter is what occurs for me. Because I'm not here in judgment. Your ride up and down the ladder chute is, is yours. As long as you're doing no harm. And I've got nothing to say about it. Because it's your experience. It's your expression of self. It's your learning the empathic abilities on how to filter information through all of your physical and spiritual senses. And you have to start with the physical first. And then when you trust those senses, then you can expand out to the spiritual senses. You know, we're the first species to override danger. We're the first species to self-doubt. Even if we saw something with our own naked eye, we may be like, 
in disbelief. So as more and more information comes in, you're in charge of the leveling and the balance of your own equilibrium. And to find out where you're not balanced and equal that out. And that right now may require a lot more rest, a lot more detachment. It also may spark, I got to ask a lot of questions because I just want to see what everybody else is because I'm just, you know, and I encourage you to step back from that and just be with the within of the isness and the thisness of the now. Really tap in to see how that feels. It's very different than wanting to go outside of yourself, which can be a natural habit because you've created it and it's been programmed. But we can't keep blaming these programs. When you're aware of them, it is your job to step up, take action, cancel all, delete what isn't serving you through what I practice and certified in is the Ho'oponopono. I'm sorry. I forgive. I love you. And thank you to all things. When you're aware and then you turn a blind eye, mm, mm, that's a lesson within ourselves. That we're here to learn. So set your dial and maintain all of this throughout the day and keep adjusting as you need to. Tweak, pivot, adapt to keep yourself in balance. In balance, not imbalanced. It all sounds alike, but the key is here. Balance is the key word. Balance, balance, balance on your trapeze. Balance. It's up to you to focus on that. Tap into how that feels. And if you want to do it physically, stand with your feet hip width apart. Close your eyes. And just be. See if you can find where your footing is on the soles of your feet. And adjust as you need to until you can stand there for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. But when you got a lot of marbles going on up in here, that's swaying the swamp and creating swamp tsunamis, the nervous system can't retrieve, receive, reciprocate, all of its messages and where it needs to go because we're transmitters. We're, we're living, breathing transmitters. Choose what you're going to transmit. See, sense, and feel more from here and less of here. Get this balance. Get Balance everything under the hood of this beautiful avatar. Breathe into that. Give you a lot of self love and nurturing to yourself. And these hands are extensions of your heart. So when you reach for a pen or food or a glass, or for others, use these as energetic love, just pouring out from your heart in an extension of you. Watering plants, getting in your car, driving by cars, walking anywhere, 
Just you're emanating this God source love through the extensions and the pores of you. And you will always know what you need to do in each and every moment if you stay there and observe and ask, are my lips to be moving right now? Am I taking in too much through the shutters of my eyes too quickly? Can I soften my gaze? I encourage each and every one of you <clears throat> on the 1st of November here, create your own portal, self-love. Share that with others. Thank you for listening, and I certainly hope this helps. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you on the next video.